Hello. Shut up, Nailu. <laughs> we're back in the Secret Summer Paradise, and we're gonna go find. I cannot remember his name. It's been a day. I just have very poor memory. But we're switching tracks, and we're gonna go find the third brother. Okay, so we twist the flower. Uh, okay, that's fine. Switch to the amber okay. flower. This is the end of this track segment. Auto should be nearby. You gonna go in, buddy? Okay, that's what we're trying to get to. So let's go. Okay, I'm actually paying attention this time to the Q and E thing. Okay. Right. I was really bad at this. I don't like this moving part. Oh, I forgot. Shoot. I'm really good at games, I promise. Or just because I like games doesn't mean I'm good at them. Even really easy games like this. Okay. Okay. Ooh. A precious chest. I love... I absolutely love the little firework thing that happens whenever you open a chest. Ah, I guess you had repaired the tracks and stations as soon as I saw a cart come zipping along. <coughs> now that the tracks, station, and carts are all repaired, we're about ready to reopen Torrential Twister. It will be good to see my design back in action again. Ugh, you're in no condition to be out running around like this, Hato. <laughs> Yeah, but these are unusual circumstances. <coughs> That's true, but you should stop to think things through. Exactly. If there's anything that needs to be done, you can just let Ferdinand and I take care of it. <laughs> you and Ferdinand? Together? It would be a miracle for you two to do anything together without fighting. Hey! That's between Jeremy and me. No need to add fuel to the fire, okay? Uh, I'm not trying to make trouble. I'm just saying. <coughs> hey, Ferdinand. Oh, uh, don't worry. We're not arguing, Clee. We're just, uh, discussing some things. Angrily. Are you and Jeremy worried about Hado? Hmm? Clee is just too precious. I actually used the guarantee I was saving for Wanderer on my second account to get Clee and... You know, I love her. I had nothing ready for her, but she's wonderful. Why don't you just talk to him about it? Kaya's also worried about me sometimes, but he doesn't ever criticize me. You're right, but our relationship is much better than these guys. <laughs> Ooh, got him. Cool it, Kaya. Uh, well, our situation is a little different. Really? How so? We've been through this kind of thing before. If we didn't warn Hado, then he wouldn't take it seriously and something would eventually happen. As his brothers, we have to help him. But it doesn't look like you're helping. Huh? Maybe Klee doesn't understand everything. It looks like you understand it better than they do, Klee. But my mommy told me that you help someone to make them feel happy, not to make yourself happy. Hado sure doesn't look very happy. Why don't you ask him what he needs? I hope they feel embarrassed being schooled so hard by an eight-year-old. Hmm. Clee's right, you know. You three need to open up and talk things through. You are brothers, after all. <sighs> I, um... <clears throat> I've always cared a lot about you, Hado. Clee's such a cutie. Just like when we were back in the desert. You suddenly passed out and Jeremy and I started arguing. 
Eventually, all three of us ended up in this domain. I'm just worried that something similar could happen again. If you were to pass out and with nobody around to help you... I know, but this domain is nowhere near as dangerous as the desert. I was thinking that if I could handle these problems myself, then you two wouldn't have to argue about anything. If it weren't for my poor health and lack of energy all the time, then I wouldn't have always been such a burden on you two. No need to feel guilty, Hato. This was our choice. The three of us love adventuring. No one is a burden on anyone. Isn't that why we came up with the idea for this area? I would do the thinking, Ferdinand would use his muscle, and you would... Draw the blueprints and build tracks. It'll be a safe way to see all kinds of amazing scenery. Yes, that was the plan. <laughs> see? Doesn't it feel better just to get along? Hey, what are you trying to say? You make it sound like I've only been trying to talk myself up. The choo-choo cart is great, Ferdinand. Really? You know, Clean, having the car zip along the tracks was my idea. Yeah, what an amazing idea! You're so smart! Hey, Clee, do you want to ride even more fun carts? Yay! Let's ride more! I feel like this event in particular is activating everybody's parental instincts. Not only within the event characters, but within the players. Because <laughs> I'm certainly feeling very parental right now. Looks like all three of them are trying to win Clee's approval now. And Klee is loving it. Klee hasn't realized it yet, but her innocent, childlike nature is very powerful. It can inspire and even help heal others. Hey, everyone. Please come with me. We need to get the Hydro Eidolon in the cart to help us. I can do that. <clears throat> Let's go. Okay, so I need to click. I always get... I always get mixed up with what I need to do. Okay, here we are. What am I... Oh. Quest. Oh, are we going back now? Okay. Change direction. Board. Good. Torrential Twister is ready to run. Let's go to the station and start the track. I forgot how you're supposed to stop. Otto and I have double-checked everything. It's all operating safely. You can go for a ride now. Hold on a sec. Before we say goodbye, I have something I'd like to give you all. It's a rock climbing rope. We used it on our adventures to climb mountains and traverse many places. Is this going to make climbing easier? Or is it going to be useless? Huh? But doesn't it mean a lot to you? Are you sure you want to give it to us? Yes, of course. Please take it. Thanks to Klee and everyone else's help, we realize that there's a special bond that keeps us together. Even though it's invisible, it's even more important than rope. We can always hold on to it through tough situations. Well, that's very wholesome. Huh? I helped? <laughs> yes, Klee. You are a big help. Even bigger than that huge thing in the middle of this place? <laughs> yes, much bigger. I'm so happy. By the way, have you ever seen anything like the choo-choo cart in the outside world? Nope. Today was the first time I rode anything like it. Is that so? <coughs> I guess I'm not surprised. Seems you won't find Torrential Twister anywhere else. Be sure to come back and ride the choo-choo carts again while you still have the chance.
so is it a gadget then, or is it just a thing that we keep? <clears throat> and it expires as well. That sucks. Or do we have to use it? I, I don't get it. I guess we will find out. Okay. Right, I'm really good at this. It's Q and E. Oh my god. Good, I got three this time. I missed one last time and I was really depressed. Looks like Kree's having the most fun. Okay. I kind of like this. Although it is slightly stressful, but that's kind of just because of me. Oh no. Why did the hydro I do on cross the road? I mean the train track. The answer will shock you. Ooh. I'm on you, big dum dum. Mm. Oh, right. Guess it slipped Paimon's mind. <laughs> Sorry to bother our young mage, <laughs> but there's something a master thief would like to report. Do you still remember our mission? Uh oh. I was having so much fun that I almost forgot. We're supposed to be helping Adia look for the missing components. But don't worry, I've already got one. You mean you snatched it when we weren't looking? <laughs> I didn't have to go that far. In fact, the component we were searching for was actually that orange rope. Hmm. If anything, you could say it came right into our hands at the right time. Let's head back and give it to Adia. I suppose that makes sense, but I'm still mad I don't oh, get to keep do it. We really have to go? <sighs> okay. Even though I want to keep playing, I know Adia is really important. And that's our wise mage. <sighs> Don't worry. Tonight, you'll be able to see stars in the water and watch fish dance in the sky. Uh, seems Kokomi's out of it after that ride. Her face is completely blank and her lip was trembling while she was speaking. <sighs> Maybe we should have a rest for a while. You shouldn't push yourself. We're in a rush. Uh, huh? Keeping my composure pretty well. Hmm. I think he needs to take some lessons in composure if that's what you think it is. Don't worry. My mind is always spinning. I'm used to this. We should head back to Idea. How about we hold hands, Miss General? Klee will give you energy. Oh, she is the cutest. I'm gonna die. Uh huh. After holding Klee's hand. Stars in the sky and the fish in the water have all disappeared. I must have been seeing things from riding the cart. <sighs> hmm? What are you smiling about, Kokomi? Uh huh? Oh. 
<clears throat> nothing. Nothing at all. That's so cute. Okay, give me the loot. Let me help you pack this up. And I'm gonna see if this is close by. For the reasons I had for the last one as well. I like this place. I like all the little puzzles and stuff. They're really nice. I love having a new area to explore. It's always the most fun when it's completely new and fresh. Um, is it something to do with bees? Haha. -ha. There you are. You pack this up. Okay, how many of these voucher things do I have then? Oh, we've got another park guide thing. I like the UI of this as well. It's very like kitty and cute, but also festively, you know? Okay, we're doing okay for these. I don't quite know how many there are on the map either, so it's like. I don't know how many I should be aiming for. Because I'm not like a 100% completionist. I like to have things finished. But I'm not gonna like go crazy about it if I don't get 100%. On, you know, things like this. Plus given there's no percentage that's been given to the uh, exploration in this area. So I'm just gonna do what I do. Okay buddy. Don't be scared. And there we go. I kind of feel like I decide on a whim what I'm gonna go for when I'm in the middle of a quest video. Let me help you pack this up. Cause usually I'm like, I'm not gonna do anything, I'll just leave it. And then sometimes I'm like, I will literally never come back here if I don't pick it up right now. Especially with those little like I don't even know what they are. <laughs> The little guys that you have to, in, like, run through. You know what I mean. The little balloon things. Okay, here we are. Welcome back! Well, any good news? Oh, don't tell me! You've taken care of all the problems and now I don't have to do anything? Yep, we took care of everything. Yeah, we even rode the choo-choo cart. Do you want to come ride too? <sighs> uh, but maybe you'll have to wait till tomorrow. I'm a little tired now. Seems she had a little too much fun and now she's about to crash. <laughs> I think it's time for a rest. Good idea. I think we could all use some downtime. Thanks for giving me some energy, Klee. Then we'll see you later. Bye, Klee. So cute. Well, it sounds like our young mage enjoyed herself. I'm so happy that she had a good time. So, back to the missing component. Did you bring it? You bet! Kaya said that the missing component was this orange climbing rope. Ah, it just occurred to me that you probably ran into the three brothers while you were in the canyon. If I remember correctly, the two eldest brothers were taking their sickly younger brother on adventures when they ran into a sandstorm and ended up here. They were all arguing with one another when they first arrived, but it wasn't long before they broke down and were huddled together in tears. Uh, they sure must have a lot of energy to keep up their bickering and adventuring every day. 
I'm a little worried about them, yet quite envious of all that energy. <laughs> you almost sound as if you're reminiscing about old friends, Idea. Yes, I've known them for quite some time after all, but I seldom go to that area. You can hold on to the rope for now, Traveler. I have no use for it until we have the other components. By the way, Eula and Kale have also returned, but I'm afraid they weren't able to make much headway. They mentioned that they would like to head to the jungle north of here, once you have all rested up. Understood. Ooh, we got a new jungle area. Now that I've told you everything, I'll go rest. Uh, I mean, I'll go and check on the situation in the remaining two areas. Do you need me to accompany you? Oh, uh, no, it's all right. You've already accomplished a lot today. You should rest up. And there we have it. That is part one of this big quest. I gotta say, I always love these. I always love the summer event. They just have such a nice feeling. I hope that you're enjoying it as much as I am. And I will stop here, I think, and carry on. <laughs> carry on in the next video. Bye.